Yelp. Uh, so today, uh, this one is just going to be on Gear Raid Dungeon 4, 1 through 3. Um, these ones are definitely the more easy stages. You're really only dealing with the physical damage immunity, so you're not going to get any damage out of your Silas's, your Hatsits, or anything like that. So you just basically need full magic damage, um, some tanks, healing, rage regen. Um, you really don't need anti-heal yet. Uh, it helps, but it's definitely not necessary. So we'll go through here and we'll just watch these runs. I'm not going to actually send them in because I don't want to waste these keys. So let's turn off POD and then we'll just auto fight it. Oh, POD is on on auto fight. So apparently we won't auto fight it. So I'm just not going to send it in, but we'll go to the, almost, pretty much the very end. Uh, this is the team I ran through most of it. Um, I could kind of talk through. Aeon is literally only there for the Lord bonus at the moment. Um, she's somewhat skilled, not really promoted. I have her in Invig, but I didn't even place her down. So, uh, Virna, I think she's actually going to be great here. Like. Personally, I'm not a huge fan of Virna. Never have been. I only like her to boost my Silas. But I do think she's actually going to be very, very good here. Um, her executing some of these units is going to be very, very helpful. And if you def if you have her, um, you'll definitely get some use out of her here. Artemis, I'm using as a healer slash he's my really only form of anti-heal. I, I don't have his like main gear on yet. Um I just ran it with this uh wisdom set. I think a nigh or something's in his gear still. Yep. So nothing crazy there. Ajax, he's my pretty much my bottom lane unit. Um don't really have too much in the form of mages. Greed is actually insane on this dungeon as well. I used him on my forerunner account. I just don't have him built yet, so I might do something with him later on, especially when it comes to like four, five, and six, because his ability to just slow down lanes is awesome. And his damage output is very good as well. Uh, Zilla 2, she's just some her guild boss build. Um, I'm using her for the top lane with my uh, Broke here. Also, to note, in these first couple runs, I, I didn't actually run Gone on the team. I had uh, Silas, and I just never dropped him. So. I'm just, he's going to be a kind of a test for this one as well. He's just full uh, DPS, defense build. Max Goddess Grace, so he's very, very tanky. Elowen, I think she's probably the best healer here overall. Uh, reaches both lanes. Gets your Rage Regen. If not, Hollow's definitely her best replacement. But awesome healer. I guess I can show her build too. Uh, Envig. Attack, attack speed, attack. Nothing too crazy. Uh, broke here. Just my, pretty much my go-to tank for everything. Always full guardian. Uh, everything's HP. He does have a good amount of defense. I don't think he has defense. Yeah, no defense build on there. Um, I'm looking for defense percent subs. But that's about it as far as those go. And then Comet, probably like one of the better builds on my account. Um, 17k attack, 464 speed, 330 crit damage, and 40 Rage Regen with max tier. So let's go hop into this first run. All I'm doing here, I'm going Comet straight away into Broke Gear. Um, as soon as Broke Gear's down, she's just going to keep targeting him, so you don't even have to worry about it. Um, just makes this one super easy. And then we go right into Zilla 2 in the back line. And that's basically this whole lane. Like, I could probably just throw it on auto and just win like this. As far as top lane goes, we're going Valkyra. 
Yeah, there's Insta dead. Into our rage. Oh. Generally, I'd put Ajax here. I, I screwed that up. Ajax goes here just because he could reach like all the way through over here. So as soon as they turn this corner, they're getting hit. But luckily on this one, it doesn't matter too much. And then gone just in front. Just to hold it down. Get that extra block. Um, and just gives uh, her more time to ult. Yeah, I didn't even look here. They're just insta-dead there. So I think most accounts can do these stages relatively easy. Um, stage 1 should be a gimme for pretty much anybody that's cleared 18. So even if you haven't cleared... You can't clear the other ones. I would still recommend using your 150 keys. But I think most people should be able to get to like two or three. Uh, especially if you've been playing for a while. We'll pop her here. Screw it. And we can just pull the Artemis ult and they just die. Yeah, this is run one. Nothing too crazy at all. Um, I'm, I am going to stop here just because I will insta-clear these units. But yeah, this is run one in the bag. Then we're kind of going to be doing the same thing. Uh, we got to be a little more conscious when it comes to stage three. Um, on this one, we do have the physical damage. So you could probably use like a hatchet or any kind of marksman in stage one, too, as well, because you're not getting this uh, physical damage immunity. So definitely could run really just about anything on this level and probably clear it. Stage 2 is definitely where you should start looking to get in all your mages incorporated. Um, once again, same thing right away. Comet. Into my tank. And then we drop Artemis down right afterwards. Oh, I got POD on here. Well, I'll just show it with POD. It, this one's kind of easy anyway. It's really just going to be the same thing as last run. Press common will win. On this one, I would wait to place your uh, person down here and like, once you get your healer, you're fine. Like, when you can set them both down at the same time, that's when you should be putting the down on this lane here. Just because she starts to do a little bit more damage with the AoE. And you definitely don't want to just lose a unit for free. And the same thing I'm doing on this bottom lane. I don't know if you guys saw. I'm only popping one ult at a time. So, like, last time I did Comet, so this time I did Artemis. And like the next time I do Comet and then I do Artemis and Zilla 2 at the same time. So I just basically switch them back and forth. Ajax blows up that top lane pretty easily. Yeah, if you guys got Artemis, you're definitely super lucky because... Just an awesome champ. Got the anti-heal. Got that ability to actually do some insane healing as well. And just nukes waves down like that. 
So we'll just pop Zilla 2 here. She'll be going while these are going. Get Comet going. Boom, waves are gone. And that's run two. Trying to keep it as simple as possible for these runs. Um... I can go over some options at the end of the video as well. Like if for replacements, like like I said, uh, if you have a greed, greed's a great re replacement for Comet. Um, probably later on in the week, I'm gonna try to do some collabs with some people going over Gear Raid Four because I think there could be a lot of fun trying to get like some uh, budget teams going on. Okay, and then same team here as well. This one's a little more difficult. It's not too bad. Um, definitely going to have more uh, pressure on your units here from Volca because their AoEs are doing a lot more damage now. But as far as the start of the thing, basically exactly the same as I've been doing. You see, like, we're almost getting down to half health now. So we'll go here. Into Artemis. And then we're going to get our Rage Regen started right away. into our Valk. Get our Ajax down. And then we're kind of just waiting for Comet here. We want to get that Comet all off as soon as possible. You can see Zilla 2 got really close to dying there. Get our Gone out. And we got to be patient here. Get our Valk popped. And then right into our Ajax ult. Luckily Ajax has some really quick recovery on his ult. So he's a great unit for this just because this lane was basically built for him. He reaches all the way around it. Um, honestly, what might be cool is even running like a... Uh, Piercer Lord, if you have an extra slot just for that, but definitely not completely ideal, but he would get this top line as well. So here, going with that right away. Uh, we're getting all in sight. Get that damage out. Gon's blocking him off. Watch Zilla 2 go to work here. And then for this next one, we have Valk ult, we have Gon ult, and we have uh, Ajax ult. So we should be more than fine here. Get her popped right away. Get our invulnerability and our extra block going into that, into... Comet ult. And that is it. Actually, I'll just send this one. It's only stage three. As long as I'm not sending one and two, we're fine. Yeah, I do think uh, L1 is the best here, just so you're getting that Rage Regen for all the units. Helping out a ton. Get that old going. Pop that, pop that. And that is stage three done and dusted. Um, I will be attempting to do four through six. Um, 
I'll have a video out regardless. I don't know if it's going to be on my account per se. So I think I will struggle on six. I'm just missing a lot of anti heal. If I do beat it, I will be kind of surprised, honestly, if anything. Um, kind of some crap gear here. Expected. But yeah, uh, I'll go over some champs too for replacements.